Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2003 Mercedes-Benz S350. It's Zircon Silver with black leather interior and it is in absolutely immaculate condition. It's had every single service done at a Mercedes-Benz dealership all the way up to date. And it's only done 103,000 kilometres since it was brand new. It's been garaged. The timber work is in absolutely beautiful condition. It's also was optioned with an auxiliary input. So you can play your music. Standard features include obviously cruise control. It's also got pre-safe, so it uses the parking sensors at the front to increase braking power if the car senses that there's going to be a collision. It even does things like closes the sunroof automatically, and it's got pretensions on the seatbelts which pull you into your seat. It's got memory electric seats on the driver's and passenger side, the two original keys, it's got Michelin tyres all round. And there's probably quite a few 2003 and 2004 model S350s, but they're not in this condition and they haven't been garaged like this car has. It was traded on an S350 long wheel base and was owned by a very fussy person. In 2003 it was the update and it went from the S320 to an S350 and the S350 in 2003 got the 3.7 litre 170 kilowatt engine which was only used in the S, the SL and the ML. Wasn't used in C350s or E350s or anything like that. And uh, the benefit of this engine is it had a bit more power. It was, it was really designed for torque, which I guess is why it was in the SL and the ML series. It comes with the European plates, which were about $450 as an extra at the time. But really, this car isn't, isn't for someone who's looking for a cheap S-Class. They're looking for one of the best S350 is available in immaculate condition. But everything from the wheels to the tyres to the panels to the lights to the leather to the timber is in exceptional condition. This particular model is also very reliable. I should know I've had four of them myself. In fact, I am driving an, an S350 of this vintage. Um, at the moment, um, I've had a few over the years and I sold a AMG I had so I've gone back into an S350 and I've got to say I love it. It's smooth, surprisingly economical, absolutely reliable. It goes without saying that everyone gets a bit tired of spending money on cars. But these W220 S350s are very good. It does have and pneumatic suspension, but it's very reliable. It's not like the S600, which has automatic body control. You can see the headlights are nice and clear. The paintwork is excellent. It's never been involved in an accident. I'll talk a little bit more about the suspension. All right. So obviously we've got memory electric seats, electric steering wheel. Moving forward, you've got climate control, dual zones. You've even got air pneumatic seats. So if you twist that, it um, puffs off the back of the seat. If you can't get comfortable in one of these, I don't think you'll get comfortable in anything. It also has the old switch from, I guess, which came out in the 80s. 
which uh, puts the back headrest down when you're reversing. So if you look here, you'll see you've got the headrests. The click of a button, they all go down. Obviously you've got an electronic stability program, unlock, lock. So this button here actually stiffens the suspension. So when the lights are off, you've got convenience, sport one, sport two. It lowers the car a little bit, stiffens up the steering, and uh, if you're driving you know, at high speed and you're going through twists and corners, the car handles incredibly well. And this button, at the click of a button, it goes up by a few centimetres if you want to clear an obstacle or go into a very steep driveway. But it's a pretty basic system compared to the automatic body control. And uh, if you have a good European mechanic, they can buy shock absorbers, compressors and things pretty easily. I guess you probably say, why would you have had so many of these? I won't go into it too much, but basically I had one, and uh, which I really liked. The same 2003, it was the same colour as this. And I sold it, and I kind of regretted selling it, so I bought another one. It was Travertine Beige. I had that for a while, and a friend of mine really liked the car, and he kept asking me about it, and in the end I gave in. And, um, and I sold it to him, and uh, I then purchased another one, which uh, a customer came in and really liked, so I sold that. And I've had a number of cars since, and now I'm just back in a uh, 2004 model. But look, if you have any specific questions about the car, if you want to know about reoccurring problems, if any, um, ongoing maintenance, you know, whether it's timing chain, timing belt, it is a timing chain. And if you speak to any European mechanic and you say, I'm looking at buying a Mercedes with the 112 V6 engine, I'm sure they'll tell you as well that it's very reliable, if not one of the most reliable V6 engines to come out of Mercedes Benz. We've sold these S350s from 030405 with two, three, 350,000 kilometres. We had a long wheelbase. Um, probably about a year ago now that drove perfectly so if this is the car you want to buy to keep for two or three years and sell you can do that or you can buy it keep it for 10 or 15 years put lots of kilometers on it it'll do whatever you like thanks for taking the time to watch this video we are the old timer center we're located in Marrickville in Sydney we're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport and we do look forward to hearing from you